Welcome back to the Trading Desk. Uh, we started to talk a little bit about inflation and uh, the idea that there's going to be no inflation or 1%, 2% inflation over the next 10 years, which uh, I think we all agree is, is probably optimistic mm -hmm. at best. Improbable. Yeah. Improbable. Well, it also depends on your law. If, you, if you're going to believe the statistics mm -hmm. that are going to come out, sure, there probably won't be any inflation over the next couple of years. Right. But that's, and that's really where the argument boils down to. The bond market will sniff it out before anybody else does. Exactly. And, and it's also a function of, you know, it, there was a, a flight to safety, especially towards the end of the year with Treasury bills. Treasury bills were yielding zero. Yielding zero they right. went negative at one point. Mm -hmm. And that's just people wanting something ultra safe. And, uh, but ultimately, you know, if you're buying those long bonds thinking it's something safe, yeah, if you hold it for 10 years, you're going to get all your money back. You know, the, the Treasury is going to make you whole. But in the meantime, you know, those interest, as those interest rates fluctuate, you know, if rates go back up to 4 or 5%, you could be sitting with a huge unrealized loss. Big on that position, so. Which uh, may be part of the manipulation, I right. mean, intervention. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, yeah. And I think all three of us are kind of in agreement if you've got a long-term view, mm -hmm. two, three years plus probably, maybe less, but I'm thinking two, three years, TBT is probably the way to go. I, I think, it, you I mean, know. At least that's what I'm positioned as for yeah. a portion of my portfolio. Well, I think, you know, the, Jap the Japanese scenario is definitely a low probability scenario. I don't think that's the most likely situation. Mm -hmm. But it is, it is a situation oh, that, that could happen. And if that does happen, you know, TBT is going to go way down because bonds are going to do really, really well as rates go from 2.5%, whatever, to 1.5% to a half a percent sure. on those long bonds. Uh, but the only way that happens is if we see a major deflationary cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, which which again is improbable. I think if that were to happen, you'd have worldwide yeah. issues. Well, and let's, uh, let's define deflation. Deflation is basically everything losing value in dollar terms. Right. Mm -hmm. Real estate going down, stocks going down, Oil. everything going down, everything. consumables, everything going down in price. And the only way that happens is if you have a major economic slump and the demand for all that stuff disappears. Right. So, uh, that's, it's not likely. Outlier. It can happen. It's an outlier. I mean, it's possible. The, the federal yeah. government and the, 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 the Fed and everybody has a huge interest in the, not allowing that to happen. So, well, it's interesting. Yeah. You know, what I find interesting about this juncture with the Fed is they are you know, doing a lot of this, talking about, uh, they're talking about inflation being a concern, but they're really concerned about deflation. I mean, it's short run sure. versus yeah. long run. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're, they're totally they're, they're pr trying to prevent. Like we're we're going to try and curb from, inflation, but right. we will never allow deflation. That's what Bernanke has said. I mean, yeah, well, they, but they, they flat that. out come out now and they're talking about inflationary pressures, yet, right. you know, we've had massive deflationary right. pressures and, and over what, the last six months. What's funny about that is months. they'll say that, the, well, when we see them, then we'll take away the stimulus. Well, right. at that point, Genie's out of the box. Exactly. I mean, again, you know, to me, the Fed is a broken entity. It's a, it's a reactive mechanism. They've never proactively done anything in, in my lifetime, our lifetime. Well, you can argue they've caused it, it, more problems than, than, you know, yeah. than actually help things. You know, with the, again, the, the real estate bubble, they took rates super low. Right. And, you know, I mean, they've, there, was the real, there was the tech bubble, and then there was, you know, they, they, to, to uh, try and fix that, they created a real estate bubble. And now they're trying to fix this real estate now bubble. Now they're just spiraling. And what's going to be the, what's like going to be now the, the the bad thing that comes out of that? And you know we're seeing a, a, a treasury bubble, I think, mm -hmm. right now. And, and so a lot of people that are in there buying bonds, you know, thinking they're safe, could lose a lot of money over the next. Absolutely. Unless they're going to hold them in maturity. And, I think and, and maybe that is part of the economic warfare. Maybe they know that China and and. and Russia and everybody else is holding so much. Japan sold, they're the holding, biggest holders of holding so debt. much of our debt that yeah. maybe that you know part of you know, it's it's one means of warfare is by driving down the worth of our own, own true, dollar. True. We're yeah. only going to pay you one and a half percent on right. the money you lend us. So, so go for it. Yeah, yeah. we'll take yeah. it. The caveat or the flip side of that is you know U.S. dollar. Um, mm -hmm. You know U.S. dollar had a beautiful rally in the last quarter of 08, right. and in right towards the end of December gave back nearly all those gains. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jesse and I were talking before the show, and it's kind of interesting right here, but um, I think with interest rates at essentially 25 basis points or a quarter percent, I just don't see the dollar being a real attractive currency no. going forward. I think it's going to go much, I shouldn't say much, but it's going to go lower in own as, my guess. As a currency specialist, you don't see the other country, countries yeah, or other currencies out, having to follow suit. You know, and they're kind of behind the Fed, because if they have to start lowering now, right. Then the dollar, you know, and then the you know our economy, you know, comes out of recession sooner. Sure. They can start raising rates, and the currency should well, be even better. It depends even on the currency, though, too. Yeah. You even saw it today; the euro was just crushed, and I'd be a buyer of it, you know, probably yeah. in the next few days, just yeah. because I agree with you. I mean, I think it's it's kind of fake We're right now. We're going to become the yeah. funding currency for all the other carry trades out there, mm -hmm. where you can go and get five, six percent in New Zealand, 
Well, it, a few years ago, they were borrowing money from Japan and, and, <laughs> and investing it elsewhere. Now we're the now we're, we're going to be the funding. We're the currency. cheapest, right. yeah, exactly. exactly. So. We need to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about the local economy, what it means to you, and talk to a local businessman. So stay tuned.